Go okay. ahead. Okay, so so the, the, the title of the research study is uh, Corn Yield Prediction via Integration of Remote Sensing, Machine Learning, and Crop Modeling. And we have three collaborators. Uh, each of the collaborators specializes in, in, in uh, each of the parts of the, of the research. Uh, and so the, the first part is a, a private sector uh, a company called Skyvip Company. Uh, it's a precision agriculture drone service provider. Um, and then the, the second collaborator is Dr. Anthony Brown from Durham University. And Dr. Brown is also the STFC champion for innovative technology. And lastly, we have uh, Professor Emeritus, Dr. Adachai Jintawit. Uh, he's from the School of Agriculture in uh, Chiang Mai University, which is the, in Northern Thailand, where the um, research is, is being done. So this is a continuation of the 2020 SFN scoping project uh, entitled Predicting Corn Yield with UAV-Based Remote Sensing. So we have three parts uh, of the uh, research study. The, the first part is in the data acquisition, and I, and I would call it stage one processing. So what we do is we take multispectral images uh, at several intervals of the growing cycle of sweet corn, uh, which is a, a four month period. And then we, we generate various vegetation indices that uh, influence yield like uh, NDVI, um, NDRE, uh, SCCCI. Uh, this one is, is, uh, stands for Simplified Canopy Chlorophyll Content Index and um, GCI. Uh, which is the green chlorophyll index, uh, several more. Uh, and then after the harvest, we would measure the exact yield of these plots. And we use this um, to be the input to the second stage. Uh, let me elaborate just a little bit on the stage one processing. Uh, in order to get very accurate uh, vegetation indexes so that, that that I just referred to, we need to do some kind of a blocking out of the non-leaf area of the individual plots because there are uh, the, the boundary areas and sometimes the uh, dirt area uh, within the plantation itself. And we do this by using the QGIS uh, feature uh, called the raster tool zonal statistics in order to get a more accurate reading of the vegetation indices. Now part two, which is the machine learning process, we will be experimenting with different models using uh, open source machine learning libraries of Python. Uh, these models are such like the, the linear regression model, uh, re regress, regression trees, support vector machines, Gaussian process regression and neural networks. So we'll be experimenting with all of them and see which model generates uh, the yield uh, which is most closest to the, the measured ones. The third part is the integration of the decision support uh, for agro-technology transfer. Uh, it is in short called DSAT. Uh, it's a quite popular open source crop modeling software and what DSAT inputs as, as their data, uh, things which is not covered by the remote sensing part, uh, such as the types of cultivars, the method, the soil data, the crop management in terms of fertilizers use and uh, the, the, the watering method and, and, and the likes, and then to obtain the, the predicted yield. So what we have in mind is to determine methods to complement machine learning with crop modeling uh, to achieve a higher uh, prediction accuracy. And finally, uh, to talk about the impact of this research study, I think it's twofold. Uh, one is to refine the ability to synchronize activities of the growers uh, in order to optimize the operation of the processing plants and to eliminate waste and, and therefore reduce the carbon footprint. Uh, one of the unique features of 
this types of corn, uh, which is sweet corn that we're doing the study, is that uh, once you harvest, you have to uh, uh, send to the processing plants within 24 hours. There is no uh, means of uh, putting it in a silo or, or uh, it, so it's very cr time critical. Uh, and the second uh, impact would be to uplift the livelihoods of small pot holders who happen to be the majority of growers in, in this region of the world. Uh, they will be able to increase their yield and generate uh, more income. And in a nutshell, this is what we're doing. <laughs>